Oh, what a difference lighting makes. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Vlogmas Day number 15. I'm going to do a pin tag for you. Also, our advent calendars, so stay tuned for those at the end. There shouldn't be any construction noise. They've already gone home. Two thumbs up. As you know, this is with a smile and a song pin tag. So each category is themed after a Disney song. Category number one is You'll Be In My Heart. I jam out to that song when it comes on Pandora. 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 I jam out to that song when it comes on Pandora. No shame. So, in other words, what's a good heart-shaped pin that you have? And so I, I won't say this is my favorite heart-shaped pin, but this is a heart-shaped pin I have not shown the public yet. So. That's why I chose it. Again, I tried to keep all of these official Disney pins, which is not my forte. Every t This is my second pin tag, and I am once again reminded of how just really small my official pin collection is. I really want to remedy that. Anyway, so this is a Valentine's pin. It was a rack pin. It is Yoda, kind of a artsy, cutie. Yoda and it says mine will you be which I died I died this is so cute and this looks like one of those little heart candies and it's pin on pin with a translucent background and screen printing I just thought it was so cute I love Yoda and I love Star Wars sorry peeps but they be my jam even before my birthday was Star Wars day so I just think this pen is adorable. I guess the pen itself isn't a heart, but it's the best I could do, folks. Okay, so category number two is Kiss the Girl, which we all know that song. Classic. And this is their favorite couple couple's pen. I won't say this is my favorite couple because I I can't choose one. <laughs> I just can't choose one. This is probably one of my top couples, but it is my favorite official Disney pen that I own with a couple on it. I only have two, so. <laughs> but I really love this one and I just got it in the mail and so I'm excited to show you. This is a Shields of Fantasy limited edition pen. It is from Sleeping Beauty. It is a hinge pen. It looks like a shield. It's got Dragon Maleficent on the top, Philip's sword, and a spinning wheel. Then you open it up. And it's got Briar and Philip. And I really love them. They are one of my top couples for sure. I love the forest scene. I love that she's in Briar Rose form in this pen. That's my favorite. And then it says Sleeping Beauty in the classic font. So I really love this pen. It is limited, uh, limited edition 1500. I'm so happy to have that pen in my collection. <laughs> Hope it's the first of many awesome official Disney pens. Category number three. Everybody wants to be a cat. So it's a cat pen. I love Aristocats and you know I love Maria. I've talked about that before. But I thought that I would show a different cat that I really love. It's not a special pin, but it is a special kitty. So, it's one of my favorite Disney cats. Figaro. He's looking really cute here. And I really love Figaro. So. Yep, there he is. I think this was just like... A pin from a booster set, but I think he looks really, really cute there. Category number four. A dream is a wish your heart makes. So like, your dream pin. What is a grail pin for you? For me, most of my grails are fantasy pins. Uh, I'm so bad. But I have recently acquired a official Disney grail pin of mine. Super exciting. I think it's the first one I've ever gotten. It is a PTD. So it is from that soda shop, Disney Studio Store Hollywood. It's my first PTD. I'm just so happy I have it. You could probably guess in three guesses who it is really. There she is. This is Rainbow Unicorn PTD. What? 
yeah, I really got it. I just can't even hardly believe it sometimes. PTDs are kind of hard to find. Um, and I'd seen her going for $60 and $80 and I just couldn't do that. But then I finally got her at a much more reasonable price. These pens you can only get with a purchase of a ice cream dessert of some sort. I believe is the thing. I've never experienced it, but the back stamp has little ice creams, such as the signature of the uh, Studio Store Hollywood and PTDs, and I'm so excited. Grail pin acquired. Check. Category number five, Shiny, which is a song from Moana. And this is um, a glitter pen. This is a pen you've seen before, but it is so glittery. It's the glitteriest official Disney pen that I have. Again, Rainbow Unicorn. Uh, this was a 30th anniversary Disney Store pen. It is so glittery. Look at all those glittery clouds. I know I just showed you a Rainbow Unicorn pen, and you've seen this one in a video before, but, you know, my collection's small, and this is definitely the glitteriest official Disney pen I have. Aren't they cute? Number six is Ohana Family Pin. Now the only other pin tag I've ever done also had this category, Family Pin. And I chose a Mafia Pin, Fru Fru, from Zootopia as my official Disney pin. That's kind of the best I can do with my collection and I didn't want to redo the same pin so I didn't bother. I do also have a limited edition Ariel and Triton pin that, you know that's family but it's from the scene where they're fighting and I did just show it in a pin mail video <sighs> I, I couldn't do anything really official Disney pin wise that you hadn't already seen so I, I'm just gonna bring back out my fantasy pin that I showed you in the last pin tag even though I just showed it to you it deserves a relook because it is so freaking epic I mean this is the most epic family pin in existence I feel pretty confident saying that so you know what, pin tags, keep throwing the family category at me. I'm gonna keep throwing this fantasy pin at you. Just feast your eyes on that gorgeousness. We've got the ancestors at the top, family members at the bottom. There's Miguel with his guitar. Let me see if I can show you closer up. the ultimate family pin. It just is. I'm sorry, I wanted to be able to do something new for you, but I just did that pin tag and okay, if I ever do another uh, pin tag and there's a family category, it's gonna be this pen. It's just, this, is, this is my official family category pen. Moving on to number seven, which is Painting the Roses Red, a floral pen. So this one's kind of fun. This is a pen from Tokyo Disney. It's Rapunzel on a carousel horse. So there are flowers all over this pen. I mean, all over it. In her hair, at the top, at the bottom. The really pretty pastel Tokyo Disney pen. I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty. Alrighty, number eight, be our guest, pin from a park you want to go to. Well, there isn't a park I don't want to go to, so this was only limited to my collection. And I do actually have a park, a pin from a park I would like to visit. Toy Story Land! This is my grand opening pin. It was released uh, on the Disney Movie Club exclusively. It's uh, two pins. The, pin on, pin, the top pin actually comes off and it's a dash pin. And here's the back pin. Toy Story Land grand opening. Woohoo! So, translucent background. Little. I've never seen a pin like this before that has a pin that comes off. It's really cool. And I love Dash. Okay, so the next one everything is honey. And it is a food pin. I do not own 
a official Disney food pin. I don't have any Disney pens that are food related <laughs> at all. Nothing about any of them is food. So I had to go fantasy pin and I actually only have one fantasy pin in my collection that's related to food. Food is not a big pin motivator for me, I guess. But that said, I would like to collect like the hidden Mickey fruit pins, you know? Or the Disney head fruit pens, like the fruit pens. I don't have any yet though. So, but I do have this fantasy pin. It is a limited edition of 30. This is 12 out of 30. And here it is. It's Judy. It's got the big donut in the background. I believe this is the big donut that rolls down the street and she rescues Fru Fru from. She's looking really cute here, all excited. And there is a donut in the background. That is food. This is my food pen. <laughs> I really love Judy Hops. But this is the only pen of her I have. I wanna I wanna get more, but at the same time I don't want to open that can, that pa Pandora's box. But this was just really cute, so I snagged it. It is fan fantasy pen. So that's two categories I had to go fantasy with. Not too bad. Now here's number 10, the last one. It all started with a mouse. Is that a song? I don't think I knew that was a song. And I'm gonna go with a pen slash pin set I just got. You just saw it. But I'll give you more of a close up here. So this is obviously a Mickey pen. These could have gone in the glitter category, but I thought I'd save them for the Mickey category. It is the December Disney Mickey pen set from Mickey Memories. I love these Mickey pens. I love the aesthetic. It's like faded and light and white and clean, but sparkly but not too sparkly. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all three. Here's the classic Mickey pose. And then the third pin is kind of special. It's a special design for this set. These diamonds with uh, the hidden Mickeys all around still has the glitter and then the white Mickey head in the middle. These are just so classy. I feel like they're really classy and really clean. I love the design. So clean and pretty and elegant. I love those Di those Mickey Disney pins. So yeah, I know I just showed them to you, but I had to pull them out for this category. They are the bee's knees. All right, so that's it for the pin tag. I hope it was entertaining. Let's go on to the advent calendars. Day number 15. I think this is a uh, Elsa. I was right. Sweet, sweet little Elsa. Her braid, her little hands behind her back. She's so good, such a good girl. Always trying to do everything right. Bless her heart. So cute, I love her little bangs, her little headband. These things are so tiny. <laughs> They're so tiny. Look at that little thing. Harry Potter. What's next? What's next? Oh! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, suddenly the bag's changed. That's weird. It's much easier to open bag. I hope the rest of them are like that. McGonagall! It's McGonagall! I'm so excited to have the little pop of her. Come on, she is pretty cool. She is a cool chick. She's always on the level. I sure love that advent calendar. Okay, socks. Trivia question, what is Tiana's dream? Now I've only seen that movie once, I am embarrassed to admit. I believe her dream was to have her own restaurant. And I saw it uh, at least a decade ago. <laughs> So I think that's what it was. Let me see, let's see. They'll have the answer on here. Oh, to open her own restaurant. That's what I thought. There is um, Beauty and the Beast. 
Beauty and the Beast on this day. And I think instead of no-show socks, these are going to be crew socks. So I'm kind of excited to see what's on them. Oh, it's not exactly a princess, but cool. I'm not complaining. In case you can't tell, this is Maleficent. They're striped and they've got Maleficent on them. Very cool. Very cool. I like these socks. I'm enjoying the sock calendar actually, with the exception of Jasmine's unfortunate face on the first ones. These are pretty cool. They are more of a summer sock, not a winter sock. I'm not sure about Maleficent's nose actually. Like, kind of looks like Voldemort's nose, <laughs> doesn't it? Voldemort's nose. Let me show you how snake-like I can be. Anyway, that was Aladdin. <laughs> Not exactly the same thing. All right, well, that was Vlogmas for day number 15. See you on day number 16. Ring the bell if you want to know when that one up uploads. Happy Vlogmas!